Hey y'all, hey! So we are getting ready for our Thanksgiving recipes. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started. So we're starting with some scalloped potatoes. And so I bought this mandolin from Walmart. It is by uh, Farberware. And so um, it actually turned out pretty good. It was relatively inexpensive, about $21. And so I'm gonna use this to slice my potatoes today. I've never made scalloped potatoes. I've never owned a mandolin. And so it's really neat that it comes with, I think, what is this, five different blades. And so um, I'm just gonna show you guys the different kinds so you can um, slice it like medium, thick, uh, thin, or julienne. It's really up to you. And so it comes with this nice little compartment thing to store it. And so I am just gonna peel three Idaho potatoes. I have seen people use the Yukon Gold potatoes um, but these actually worked out really well and so I'm just going to cut off the end so it can be a nice flat surface and then I'm going to remove the safety blade uh, and put in, I'm using the medium slice uh, for this recipe and so I'm just going to attach that and then <laughs> I ain't going to lie, I did struggle with this a little bit. I'm just like, how do you use this thing? And so we figured that cutting, actually cutting the potato in half so it's not um, so much of it so it won't just fly off the thing is easier and so my husband had to step in and show me how to use this thing but it was kind of embarrassing but it was a nice it got the job done for $21 and I'll be sure to link the description uh link the product or the link in the description box below and so you're just going to rinse your potatoes to get all the extra starch off until your water uh, goes clean and so I'm going to use my kitchen aid shredder uh attachment to shred my cheese i'm using sharp cheddar and some kobe uh jack cheddar and so this is what it looks like this is perfect for if you're making uh, a big meal you don't have to sit there and do it all by hand and so i'm just boiling i boil some water and then i'm going to place the sliced clean potatoes in there for about two to three minutes i saw uh divas can cook do that so i decided to do it i don't know if it made a huge difference and so i just put three tablespoons of butter and then i'm going to add in one yellow onion and we're going to saute this until the onions are nice and translucent i did add about two teaspoons of uh some minced garlic use fresh garlic if you have it and then i'm going to add in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and you're going to cook that out uh, you're going to cook the flour for about a minute or so just to get the raw flour taste out of there. And then I'm adding in about a half of a cup of chicken broth. And then I'm going to uh, whisk that together. And then I am going to slowly add in two cups of heavy cream. You could use half and half and heavy cream if you want or whole milk. But I am using heavy cream and I'm just going to slowly add it in there so it will help to prevent the lumps. And so now it's time to season our sauce. I don't care what seasonings you use, just make sure your food is not bland. Cause we don't want no bland food y'all, especially not for the holiday. And so I'm adding in some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of chicken bouillon powder just for some additional flavor but you want your sauce to taste good to you because this is what's going in your potatoes okay and so you're just just gonna whisk that all together and um heat this up on uh, like low um, because you don't want your sauce to break we are making a bechamel sauce and so i'm gonna add in um some of that shredded cheese that we uh, that we you know shred it with our kitchen aid and i'm gonna be sure to uh, list the link in the description box below for that if you want to purchase the kitchen aid attachment or the kitchen aid for that matter and so we just uh mix the cheese in until it started to melt and you want to cut your heat off so that your sauce does not break and then this is my husband adding in those potatoes and then we're just going to add in our bechamel sauce and layer this on here 
you can put some shredded cheese in the middle if you'd like and so one thing i will say i mean we only made three potatoes so it, that's why it's in the small pan um, but one thing i wish we had done was added more of the shredded cheese on the top just so that it could create a better crust on top but other than that the flavor was really good y'all and y'all excuse the background noise if you hear a car or something in the background i'm doing this voiceover in my car so i do apologize in advance And so we're just adding the shredded cheese on top and then you're going to sprinkle some parsley flakes and some smoked paprika on there for some nice color. And you're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven uh, covered for 30 minutes and then you're going to take the foil off and then cook it another 30 minutes. And so it's going to cook for about an hour. And so while that's cooking, we're going to get our turkey breast tenderloin together. So y'all, I am so upset because I made this already okay and so i did make a post in the community tab saying that i uh, my sd card was corrupted and so all my footage and stuff that i had to uh that i was planning on uploading a while back is gone so i'm doing this again for y'all because i needed some content for this week okay and so i'm making these tur turkey breast tenderloins again and so i'm just seasoning it, it with um uh, some jerk seasoning some uh salt pepper and you know this is uh turkey so don't be scared to season your food now because turkey can be bland and if you've been watching some of my other videos you know i am not a huge fan of turkey but these turkey breast tenderloins baby they were everything okay as long as it is seasoned right and we're gonna make some gravy baby this turkey was good and so we're just going to season this up and then i'm gonna sear this on the stove just to get a nice crust on both sides and then i'm going to transfer it to a baking pan and put it in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes you want it to cook to an internal temperature of 165 degrees because we don't want no raw turkey but we also don't want our turkey dry so um after you take it out the oven make sure you let it rest on i put it on a cutting board and i let it rest for about 10 minutes before slicing it and so before i put it in the oven i am going to add a little bit of chicken broth to the bottom of the baking dish just so um, our turkey does not dry out or stick to this pan you could also just add a little bit of water just to coat the bottom of the pan next we're going to make some mashed carrots so i am shredding um i don't know how many carrots this is but i'm shredding about two pounds of carrots and then i am going to uh chop them up wash them really well because we're going to make some mashed carrots guys and so you want to try to cut them into uh cut them as even as possible but i mean they're carrots so i don't know how you're supposed to cut them evenly but whatever just cut them up and so after you cut up your carrots you want to make sure that you wash them and then i'm just going to transfer them to a pot and i'm going to boil these carrots for about 20 minutes or until they are nice and fork tender and so while that cooks because our turkey and everything else is almost ready baby and so we're gonna use those turkey drippings from when we uh, sear the turkey breast tenderloins we're gonna make some turkey gravy and so we have some uh, avocado oil and then we added in one yellow onion it was a small onion and then we have this Kinder's turkey gravy y'all the kinder seasoning and then this kinder's turkey gravy seasoning mix baby you don't even gotta add no seasoning because it's already seasoned and we're using the turkey drippings that has uh those jamaican jerk uh seasonings in it and so you ain't gotta add none to this so we added some chicken broth or you can use water like it said to use and then we're just gonna let this simmer until it is nice and thickened okay you don't need nothing extra for this gravy i highly recommend this product and i'll be sure to link that in the description box as well but y'all we almost ready to serve up this food now um and this gravy adds some nice flavor to that turkey okay 
And so now that our uh, gravy is ready, we're gonna slice our turkey after it has rested. This turkey was nice and moist. It was not dry, cause you know turkey can be dry sometimes. But no baby, look, all this flavor. Look how moist and juicy that turkey is, baby. Uh -uh, you ain't gotta make no whole turkey. And so this is the finished product. Those nice scalloped potatoes, the turkey and gravy, and those mashed carrots. Um, forgot to make the kale, but if you have some green, put some green on the plate, y'all. Okay, you need your vegetables. And so this is the dish I made previously. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please subscribe. Bye.